a news that's breaking in because residents at the Haas Park here in Accra, uh, that is just behind the art centre, uh, are in fear as the Accra Metropolitan Assembly readies itself to demolish hundreds of structures, it says, uh, illegally cited in Accra. And Emmanuel Ante is there and will be joining us live on, 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 on TVU as we bring to you activities currently. Uh, there as we have a uh, resident or former resident in the area but uh, we seem to have lost the feed so we we go back to our discussions and 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 and, and your your observations then well i have insisted that as you know just after the world cup i had to put up an article in which i stated that breaking hearts and smiling to dollars and i didn't mean worse when i said that our management style was rather incompetent and indeed they are the most indisciplined um, in that we have seen a Suarez for instance that goes everywhere and is biting we have not seen of his team we have not seen of his country coming to disown or to say that he's such an indisciplined player what we have seen is that they have rallied openly to support him and I'm sure that after that they go inside and they are able to talk to him so as to manage character and to manage his, his, his discipline level. We have seen a Balotelli, for instance, that will hold up his, his coach, his manager, hold up neck on neck and ready to even issue a blow. And yet the next moment, the coach will send him into and instruct him that, look, I want you to score the goals. And Balotelli will deliver. And I'm sure that after that, they will do an out of public view talking Straighten. on how to straighten up. In our case, when these things happen, you sack the prime players of our team. You deny our nation the right of, of having these players mm. to come and play with us. Okay, you, you hold on to that. We go live to the art center, uh, or just behind the art center, where we had um, the resident shell area, uh, that's Mensa Guinea, where we had structures being demolished. And Emmanuel Lante is there to look at the plight of um, the residents there. Embarking on it, they will be continuing with the demolition exercise uh, from the uh, Accra Haas Park area to Osu, then down to uh, Jamestown area. Now, we are here at the Haas Park to find out what is actually happening, whether the AMA is ready to demolish or he has even started the demolition or not, and then to find out the contingency plan of the people living here, the dwellers, the slum dwellers, whether they know about this de uh, demolition exercise and what they are doing about it. I have tried, he, as you can see, it's raining heavily here, but we are trying, I'm improvising to get you some shots, uh, Roland. Um, I have with me here uh, one of uh, the dwellers who is going to tell me whether they've been able or they know about this exercise and whether they have a contingency plan to get them out of here or to move from one point to the other. You're welcome to join us. What's your name, sir? Yeah, my name is Elusha. Elusha. Yeah. Okay, now, um, are you aware of the exercise the AMA boss uh, plans to embark on? No, I don't know anything about it. I don't, right. I'm not aware of anything about it. All right, now, the AMA boss says he's going to start demolishing, and we can see that a lot of uh, the buildings here have been marked uh, for, for demolition. Um, do you have any plan if the demolition is to go on? Yeah, my plan is that I just move from here and find out my way because most of my brothers, everybody go. So I have to also go. I have my bag here. I just wait the time I'm going back to Kaswa or I don't know. I them thinking where I'm going. I don't know now where I'm going. So you're saying that some of your people have gone. Where have they gone to and why did they move from here? If you say you don't know. Uh, they moved from here because they break them my room and they don't know. They are not getting the place to sleep. They have to go there because they have small money and pay another room. Right. Now, um, we can see some structures here. Um, where exactly do you uh, live or do you stay? Do you sleep? I'm sleeping back here. And they break all. Nothing there. I don't have nothing. There's my bag here. I'm just wait. Rain after rain, I just find my way. And now, um, here that you're taking your refuge, it's also being earmarked for uh, demolition. Yeah. Um, the people living here, have they planned? Have they really planned? Or do you have a place that from here, if this place is also demolished, exactly where do you want to go and live? And what do you do? Where, where do you live around here? Yes, no anywhere to go because if you don't have money, how you can go anywhere? Just wait and find money before we will pause here. 
We sell art here, we do everything here. So you have my, our room here, if the room breaking, now we are thinking where to get another room. That's our plan. All right, well, you heard it from them. Uh, they are trying their best to live with the situation. According to them, they have this uh, 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 card here you have, uh, you can see here, are uh, their beds that they sleep on. And now, now because uh, they have, th their place is demolished, and then they run to this place just to take refuge. And this place is also earmarked. They do not know whether the AMA is coming today, tomorrow, or the next day. Um, all they know is that they are, they are struggling to get their, um, uh, a place to put their heads or to have a shelter. From, from the, the video, you can see a lot of uh, uh, the, the, the buildings marked with red marks and a, a removed sign is also put on them, which means very soon the AMA will be coming here for the uh, destruction to continue. But from then on, when the AMA comes here, what next? Manolante, reporting to you for, for joining News. And Emmanuel Lante giving us a vivid description of what really uh, is happening at Mensa, um, Guinea, and these residents have no place to, to live. I, I know that you were commenting on a subject uh, as to what, what really was happening at the, 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 the commission that is investigating the Black Rifle Party. But just a, a word or two before you go on to, uh, you, you resume your, uh, on, on this very... It is, first, let me, let me say that it is important to ensure that we clear our society of miscrimes, we are able to ensure that we put our development on a proper uh, agenda. We expect the town and country planning to bring up the proper layout of development, particularly residential development for our people. But I'm disgusted, absolutely disgusted at what we are doing in the hope that what we are doing will help decongest, will help eliminate the slums. What we have not done is we have not created alternatives for these people. These are human beings for Christ's sake who possibly through poverty, who possibly through some other difficulties would go and stay in the environment that they find themselves. I'm sure that if they had a, a better option they will be staying in most of the plushy areas that we want, we want to stay. The fact that they are not able to stay there should tell us that there's a social problem. What are we measures are we put in place to address this social problem? Officially, government has told us that we have over 1.5 million deficit in housing, in housing in this country. What it means is that unofficially, we could have about 3 million deficit in housing deficit. And these are people, that is their abode. Now you have gone to demolish the structure. Now you have cleared them off as it's raining. They don't have a place to go. So in the night, these people will be compelled to sleep at the various ministries. They will sleep there so the next morning they wake up and they continue to do. Where are they going to stay? Yeah. Where do we want them to live? They are part of our society. Certain circumstances compel their living in mm. such deplorable conditions. And we just get up one day. You have not put in any social measures any mit 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 mitigating measures, then you go and demolish them. You say they should go. You think and that's inhuman? It's absolutely yeah. inhuman. It's absolutely insensitive. Mm. We have not taken their plights into consideration. Now that you have demolished them, where do they go? In other jurisdictions, you have made alternative arrangements so that as you are clearing them from there, even in, 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 in Zanzibar, when they wanted to clear them from the, the, the slums, they build story buildings, apartments, two, three bedroom apartments, and then they moved them there. In fact, the government took the bed and then gave it to them free. You understand? So if you want to do this, I am just disgusted that we can do this to our own. These are Ghanaians. They would want to live where the AMA boss is living. They want to live where the Accra min uh, minister for, 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 for Greater Accra is living. They want to live in the plushy areas. They don't have the capacity to live. The nation is not doing anything for them. Now that they have been able to put up some pieces of wood to live, you go and crush them and say they should go. They should go and live in the rain. They should go and live in the sun. They should go and live in this bad weather. You seem in sense. You were talking about the World Cup Commission. So let's continue the discussion. Though, mm. Davis, you also want to say well, something? Um, I, I share, I share mm. the sentiments of my brother. Um, I, I'm, I'm even wondering if, if the AMA are taking it upon themselves to even 
take data, I mean, uh, uh, relevant information of these people, because we don't know where they are going. We don't know where, well, I mean, what, what they will turn into when, when they have no place uh, I mean, to lead their head. I mean, the security uh, concerns yeah, the that security also concerns it is, is, is accompany me through It's serious. Issues. And, and I, I, I wanted to find out from Ante if, I mean, they, they've started the process, especially today when it's raining. I mean, where are they taking their staff to? Were they informed? These are some of the questions that we would want to know. What, 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 what time were they informed? I mean, have, have they well, been given enough from time? From what we hear, um, this, that information is not available. It's just demolition. Them. Mm. It's just demolition. Just clear them off. Mm. Let them so go and hang. I think, they I can think there's, a, there's a need for a human face in all this. Um, mm. I know the AMA wants to do its work, but I mean, let's look Once at Once we have allowed the people to settle there, we shouldn't have allowed them to settle in the first that's place. So the law should have been working. That's, that's, that's the problem. And, 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 and that yeah, even no. brings to mind, for example, you go around the mall, etc. Traders are putting up structures, etc. Nobody is sucking them I'm after some time. They are making their living, their livelihoods there. They invest in these livelihoods. Then you see demolitions mm. come to. They start with a small table, then they move to a kiosk, a wooden kiosk. Then and we wait. Then they, 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 they know, bring in these containers and all. And we wait for them to invest all yeah. these. No, people in these communities are grandparents. They were born there. It means they, they've lived there for very long. They have lived there. They have, they have children who have gotten out of that community. They have also given birth. That is all they know. That is their life. That is where they come from. So you allow this to go on for this long. Mm. Then you just get up in a raining day like mm. this and go and demolish. Where should they go? Five. By now, some of their kids have even gone to school mm. only to come and realize that they don't have a place. Mm. Their parents are in Wonderland. Bernard, I see that you're very emotional about very the subject.